So um, this is the end and the finale of the EPOT Winter Concert 2011. And we'd like to thank everybody for coming out and supporting and enjoying the music that the EPOT kids have been practicing for a long time. So we would like to call upon to come to the front We would like to welcome our ambassador, Pat Dino Patijala, and he's actually going to give a wonderful speech, so. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> well, first, uh, because half of our audience here are our uh, English-speaking audience, I would like to ask the question to speak in English. And I want to invite everybody to give a big warm applause to all of you. A big, uh, big appreciation to all the people who are who have been supervising and training them. Patoni, Patoni, Krish, and uh, who else we got? There? Akirman, uh, Livia, John, and everybody. Let's give them a big hand. You know, when, when I was watching you uh, performing, I remember. 1973, I was eight years old, and I did my first performance. I was uh, in Singapore, and President Suharto, uh, our second president, came to Singapore on stage visit. So I did a dance for him. It was a Kuda looping uh, dance. I had to, I think, study for a whole month uh, to perform before him with other kids as well. And uh, I swear to God, uh, I sucked at it. <laughs> I was really bad. And I remember President Suarta looking at me and wondering, who is this kid doing a uh, uh, very strange dance? Uh, but uh, I enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed it to the point that I didn't want to get off the stage. You know, uh, uh, In the previous dance, People said, encore, encore. But when I danced, people said, no more, no more. <laughs> no. But, but you know, what you're doing is very, very important. I, I'll tell you why. Uh, I remember reading an uh, interview with Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew of Singapore one day. And he said that he was a bit concerned about the kids today. And the reason was he, when he was a kid, he loved running around all over the place and catching eels and playing in the uh, uh, village, playing soccer and moving and doing a lot of creative things. But he said that the kids of today spent five, six hours in front of a box without even moving his or her body because you know you got all these playstations and all these games and so on and so on. So the kids today are becoming a different kind of children. You know? And I sort of agree with him because I belong to that. I belong to those uh, two generations, those who like to run around and do creative things, but also have some kind of digital tool to play with. And it's very important to you to move your body, to move your mind, to move your uh, creativity, creative mind. And uh, I think my experience playing or training uh, Huda Lumping uh, and other musical instruments. I played, uh, I played guitar and I played piano a little bit. That trained me to be uh, a better person somehow. And I know it's a bit much to say, but I really believe that because when I was training for music, uh, a lot of things come to myself. One is curiosity. You know, I really want to learn about guitar, about piano, and other things. And secondly, I learned about the experimentation. I experiment with different tunes, with different forms of instruments, musical instruments, uh, different songs and all that, different styles. And then I learned about dedication. I learned that you can't, you know, I learned a lot of talented people. And I learned that you can't be that talented unless you try to be dedicated to what you're doing. And then the last thing is I learned about excellence and creativity. That the best way for you to be the best that you can be is really to try
try as much as you can, as hard as you can. And I think that experience, even though you know I can't sing now, I can't play guitar or piano, uh, I, you know I can't make money or uh, out of it. You know, uh, these skills uh, help me to be what I am today. And in fact, in most of my diplomatic instincts, uh, my creativity, I would say, stem from those days when I learned how to dance and how to play music. Now, I want to tell you that not all of you will become Mozarts, right? Uh, some of you are very talented, some of you are just very talented, you know. Uh, you will have to decide, in turn, what will you become and how much of your musical talent you will use. You all have different kinds of talent. But what I can promise you is this, because this is what happened to me. What I can promise you is what you've done today, practicing every week, every, you know, two, three hours a week, making friends and uh, trying to train together, performing. I promise you, no matter what you do with your music, you're gonna, you're gonna remember this moment, these moments for the rest of your life. This is the way I remember that five minute dance that I did before President Suarez. So I just wanna say, I know you're performing for all of us, but tonight is really about you. you know, tonight is all the parents, all the diplomats, all the, uh, uh, all our guests here, just saying to you, we honor you, we, we are inspired by you, we respect you, we love you, and we want to thank you for all your dedication and all your love, and we wish you all the best in your future. Thank you very much.